What's going on guys, Intech here, and it's time for another special edition of Unturned Update. Today, Nelson had a short developer stream where he talked about some new things and some things that I'm going to cover once again in today's video. So he started the stream with a poll to decide what the focus of the stream was going to be, and destruction was the first focus, and then houses came in second, and he'll probably work on houses off stream because he's got a couple things to do so he wanted to uh, wrap the stream early today but he worked on destruction so what that means was like rubble and rebar and things like that and so he modeled those things in game today he worked on rubble for the plane and crashed objects along the uh, metal guard rails. He worked on metal rebar, destruction for those sites, and he definitely wants to uh, add in more things and more stone and create more of a rubble looking area. So like construction site kind of objects. If you think about what a construction site looks like, you can probably look forward to seeing some rubble and destruction kind of like you, what you would see just lying around. So like if a house has a hole in the wall or something like that, you know, there might be some rubble on the ground below it so once again this is in no specific order it's just how i wrote things down is how the questions came up and how he answered them somebody asked him about dune buggies and he said that basically either he will add them in or somebody else probably will in the workshop so you can probably look forward to seeing dune buggies come into the game and then he talked about something very important he talked about snipers and he talked about bullet drop and bullet travel time he says there will be bullet drop and bullet travel time only on sniper rifles as he finds it's annoying when it's on all kinds of different guns so basically he wants to make sniper rifles harder to use and take more skill to use he made several hidden easter egg messages which will be cool uh, to hunt for and try to find if you weren't in the stream and saw where you placed them down and if you were in the stream and you saw where you placed them down don't give it away let people look for it because it'll be cool when they find it he worked on small Smaller vine foliage for better placement options and the ability to put on smaller objects. So like that was kind of one of my things was like he's got these big massive vines and yeah it's cool to see those placed you know on the barn and things like that but you got to have smaller ones so you can like put them on trees and add that level of detail that you really want to get from just putting on some side of a building or something like that. So you know he, he'll probably revamp the textures. He, go, he talked about going back and changing things up and making it look better and uh, you know he'll probably go back and change those and make smaller ones in varying sizes so that you have options uh, for how you want to design your level and I mean down to even how vines grow on buildings and things like that he said he might work on dead zombie piles he mentioned it really really briefly and I think that would be pretty cool to see some massive zombie pile somewhere he talked again about doors and windows and how he wants to have some that you can open and maybe even breakable glass or broken windows You'll be able to set a percentage of how fast zombies move on your server. So, like, that's a kind of a cool thing. Like, I don't know if you'll be, you know, maybe if he's got different types of zombies like he's talked about. Maybe you can set, like, boss zombies to run really slow, but they're, you know, they take a lot more to kill. Or you make, like, you know, grandmas. The grandma zombies run, like, 100 times faster than they do now or something, you know? Like, whatever. But you'll be able to set those however you want. And, I mean, you know, it'd be cool if you can actually, I mean, you can put down probably where zombies will spawn at. And if you can do do that then maybe you'll have a spot in your map that's like a military zone but it's insanely hard to loot because you know all the zombies there move insanely fast they're tough and maybe the loot in that area is always guaranteed to be like 95 percent something really really good so like there's a lot of cool dynamics that you can uh make with your own server your own map by changing things like that and he also said that he wants to make it so that you can set how ripped up a zombie's clothes look and so you know you add to the level of realism that way Drivable lawnmowers confirmed. <laughs> this is awesome. He said uh, drivable lawnmowers will probably be put into the game that uh, could run people over and run zombies over. That's freaking awesome. Uh, he said he's going to be working on military roadblocks, clouds, buildings, and more models offline today and probably for tomorrow. He said there won't be a stream tomorrow, so I imagine he's going to try to get a lot done there. It was a short stream today, so what I thought we could do uh, to make up for some of the time, like the length of the video has usually been a little bit longer, what I did at the end of the stream was to ask the community members if they had any suggestions that they would like to leave, and then I can put those into a video, and we can have those kind of as a resource. Maybe Nelson will will listen to it and kind of look, look through some of the ideas. And this isn't all the ideas, obviously. There's a lot of ideas 
is out there, some really, really good ones. But these are just some that uh, people mention at the end of the stream. Somebody, uh, actually it was Singed Waffles, a guy I play with, he talked about in-game currency and how he thinks it would be cool to have like some kind of role-playing aspect where you had a currency that you can actually buy goods from other clans. So if you have like a huge clan server, you know, you have two teams, you can trade and you can buy goods and things like that. Somebody mentioned rope ladders, which I thought was pretty cool, but I, I don't know how that would work because you would almost have to add physics to the rope ladders when you're climbing up them. So, I mean, if you can make that work, that would be pretty awesome. Someone mentioned melee modifications such as items that cause more bleeding. So you have a knife that's got more serrated edge or something like that that causes more bleeding. Uh, things that do stunning, so maybe like, uh, what do you call those black uh, jack things that you hit people with and knock them out? Maybe something like that that causes, st- or like a police baton. You hit somebody with a police baton, it can stun them. You know, police baton's not, it's kind of wimpy looking, but maybe if you hit them with it, you can stun them with it or something. Uh, things that cause like berry-like reactions and then like wobbling, so I don't know what that would be, but maybe like a ton of loss of blood or something that would cause you to kind of wobble and like you're going to faint. So things like that. Uh, somebody mentioned like a an order of like, things that are good for mining so you have like the pickaxe then you have a jackhammer or drill and you you have like a, a succession of things and how uh, one might be better than the other and you know more rarity it can be applied to those items somebody mentioned several different times like a bunch of times about junkyards now i think junkyards would be really sweet to have especially if you have a massive one and like you know it's so big that you could actually build a base inside and actually maybe nobody will find you for quite a while because it's such a huge junkyard so things like that i think like the more like kind of uh in-depth uh eroded kind of look that you have the better somebody also mentioned slum areas like graffiti junk trash kind of like think of like a dirty alley you know like i imagine that's what they're kind of thinking uh somebody mentioned airdrop events i think that's been mentioned a bunch of different times new food items then also new animals such as chicken Cows, horses, sheep, maybe you can shear the sheep. Uh, and then animals that can actually attack you, like wolves and bears, like a dense force with wolves and bears. Somebody has mentioned several times spray paint and be able to, you know, uh, spray your items or things like that. Skill books, which, I mean, that's pretty self explanatory. Somebody said you should make skill books, which I don't, you know, I don't know how in depth you want to go with skills and stuff in game, but you could have skill books. Maps you can mark on, which I think would be cool, you know, if you want to make a note or something like that. Shovel. And I think they said they want to use shovel in like a digging aspect, but I don't know about digging. But uh, a shovel to use as a melee weapon would be cool. Drink and fill canteens from the towers, the water towers. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Placeable turrets for home defense. I actually suggested that. Somebody else suggested that. So that's something that I would like to see. And I actually talked to Nelson about that. And it kind of sounds like something that's got a lot of promise. Um, Wiring for electricity instead of like the current way things are done. You can actually wire, you know, create electrical wires and things like that. Uh, craftable well, that is something that I want very, very badly. I want to be able to essentially, you know, craft a well or put a well down where it looks like it's part in, you know, in the ground or something like that, but a craftable well so that you can have a well in your base. So if you're defending your base, you have a water supply. Uh, advantages for wearing clothing like shoes, boots, etc. And, you know, maybe shoes that make you run faster, boots provide more in, uh, endurance or something. I don't know. Someone also mentioned bulletproof glass for home defense for bases. I thought that was pretty cool. Somebody also mentioned birds, which I thought I would love to see birds in the game. Bats in caves. So they were talking about making caves. Maybe have some bats in caves. Maybe you have like a whole map that's nothing but a giant freaking cave. That would be sweet. Uh, Crabs on the beach. That was another one. Crabs on the beach. Just these little things, you know, like maybe you don't have a lot of use to them, but they just add to the the level of realism in the game. Somebody's mentioned multiple times churches and large cemeteries. Somebody mentioned a large ship in the water. Campers and RVs. Uh, I think they would be cool to drive, but they were talking about like using them as like mobile bases that you can actually like uh, – put barricades on and stuff like that which would be cool and then somebody also right at the end mentioned new biome types like forests and jungles and caves and i thought that that was pretty cool too so that's it for the suggestions that's it for the stream wrap up today hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to click that thumbs up button below and feel free to subscribe for more content from unturned you guys are awesome and until next time Stay safe out there. Also, leave your suggestions in the comment section below if you have some more to add. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.